Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. For today's video, we are doing a very simple front porch decorating for the fall season. Claire and I had just gotten back from Michael's and Hobby Lobby. Today is Saturday and we did a little girl shop in this morning while dad worked on the lawn. He's prepping the lawn for the fall season and doing some manly stuff to the lawn. I don't know what he's doing, but um, we took a little trip out to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, did some shopping together and spent the morning together. So she is down for her nap right now. It's around noon when I'm filming this and I'm just starting off the front porch decorating with a good cleaning. This porch was in desperate need of some good cleaning after the summer. It was just covered in dust, pollen, loads of spider webs. So I went ahead and did a nice cleaning to it, cleaned our glass door. I absolutely love that we finally got a glass door. We did this when I was pregnant and it has just made such a difference in our front entryway. The lighting is so much better in our house and I love being able to keep this open. Honestly, we keep this open every single day regardless of the weather. I just love the natural light pouring into our house. It brings me so much joy. Also wanted to share that I did look for a wreath when we were out today and I couldn't find one that I loved and I also wanted to find one that didn't have like that wicker backing because I want to put it on the glass door but I didn't want it to scratch so I was looking for one with a styrofoam backing I didn't have any luck finding one that I loved so we are just gonna skip out on a fall wreath this year so I'm just continuing to wipe down some of the surfaces out here on the porch my bench and a couple of the railings and I just wanted to share that the only things that I got new for this season are florals to make some faux mums. I've been wanting to invest in some faux mums for years and years and I finally did. And then I did get pumpkins a few weeks back. I invested in some really nice concrete pumpkins from Home Goods, and then I got a new mat as well. And it was just a couple of things that I felt were worth it and things that I could use for years and years that would last. I really wanted to invest in some nice pieces that were classic type of pieces and not those trendy pieces. So yeah, you will see all of this beautiful decor come together in today's video. The first thing I'm doing is just moving up our welcome sign from the street. The E is cut off on the word welcome, so I just wanted to scooch that up. Did I buy every single one of these stems at Michael's today? Yes, I did. So I will link these for you guys. They are Ashland Fall Basic Bush Orange Mum. And every year I am super crooked. Every year I buy mums, I can't keep them alive. They get thrown in the trash. So I finally, after living here almost seven years, invested some money into stems and I'm gonna create my own faux mums. I've been wanting to do this for the longest time, but if you look up like faux mums online, they are so expensive. There's my cat. <laughs> um, these were $9.99 and then 60% off. That is like the best price I've seen around. So $4 for one bushel. And I bought, I think, 14 of them. So they are going to go into my Crocs. I already kind of put them all in there to make sure I like them. So now I just have to sit here and pull all the tags off. So I'm going to work on that. And then we're going to do the little faux mum arrangement. And when I took these out of my car and stuck them on my porch, I'm like, are they too bright? Like I'm such a neutral person, but I'm like, no, 
fall is for beautiful bright colors and those oranges and I literally put them in my Crocs and I was like, should I go back and get the white ones? No, your entire porch is black and white. <laughs> we need some color in our lives, so. And Claire loves these. She calls these flow flows. So um, yeah, we are going to take all the tags off of these and I will start styling them. And I always got my decorating buddy with me. She's always with me. My shadow, right? Love you, Maggie girl. I wanted to show you guys this little hack if you have these larger crocs. I have two terracotta pots, one in each croc, and I use them for height so that I'm able to put like a faux flower arrangement in there. And I just put a little bit of floral foam in there and I'm able to make a arrangement with the height of all of that. This is the floral foam that I picked up at Michael's. I'll try to link it if I can find it. I just stick that. One's on top of a terracotta pot and then one's kind of inside a terracotta pot. And then I just go ahead and start arranging my stems till it's nice and full and looks like a mum. stool out on the porch already and then I remembered one that I had on my back porch. I got this off of Facebook Marketplace years ago and I love it so much. A lady had redone it. It was an old chair and she painted it and made it all chippy and farmhouse looking and I love this thing. I've had it for so long and I'm using it to style my concrete pumpkins that I got from Home Goods. Like I said, I wanted to grab some classic type of fall decor that I would use year after year, and I thought this was such a classic piece, and they are concrete and heavy and will definitely last year after year. I don't think I shared these lanterns with you guys. I scored these from Home Depot probably a month or two ago. They were considered end of summer clearance in the middle of summer. You know how stores are always marking things down before the next season and I got them for $25 a piece with the battery operated candles. I love the wood tone of these. I think they're so beautiful. So they collected some dirt and dust. I'm just getting them all cleaned up. Hello, editing Jenny here. So I just had to say, I don't know why I have the worst resting bee face right here. Someone drove by my house and I was looking at them and I look disgusted with life and so angry. <laughs> I promise I'm not that angry. I'm just very focused on cleaning and get, getting this uh, video done before nap time ends. So <laughs> just out of here.
I picked up a new mat and rug for the front porch. There's just something about a fresh new mat that really ties the front porch together, makes it look so nice and clean and fresh for a new season. So very affordable at Hobby Lobby. I grabbed both of those and just getting them set up on the porch. I am taking down my windmill. I got this from Hobby Lobby as well. I use these clips from Amazon to hang things on my siding. I'll link them for you. And then I'm hanging up my pumpkin farm sign. If you saw my antique farmhouse haul, this sign is from there. I love this so much and I really like how it looks on the front porch. this vintage galvanized mop bucket with wheels and rust. I love this piece so much. I'm just sticking that on the porch as well. And here is how everything turned out. That's gonna be it for today's video. I am filling up my water. I am red as a tomato. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, 80 degrees out and we were decorating for fall. This is what I meant in the last video that I wasn't really feeling motivated to decorate because of this heat, but I don't know. Nick's working out in the yard today, um, like thatching the lawn, aerating the lawn, reseeding for the fall. And it just gave me some inspiration to get outside and zhuzh up our front porch a little bit. It turned out beautiful. I really love it. Um, let me turn Claire's baby monitor down really quick. But uh, I just wanted to share with you that as I'm decorating, I'm thinking to myself, should I go get more? Should I go get some pumpkins to fill up my galvanized little old mop bucket? Should I get pillows to put on the porch so it looks more aesthetically pleasing? And I just want to remind you guys, and I always have to remind myself as well, that when these new seasons come around, you feel like obligated to consume and buy more to keep up and and look a certain way. And I just want to remind you that you don't need to go out and buy new stuff for every season. Um, and just thinking to myself, where am I going to store all of this new stuff when, um, like when the season's over? We don't have a lot of storage in this house. So that is something that keeps me from like over consuming every holiday. So right before I had Claire, I was like full-blown nesting. I got rid of so much of our holiday decor. I only have two fall bins. And yeah, I just think to myself, like, where am I realistically going to store all of this stuff? Do I really want to load all of this stuff up at the end of every season? So I found myself, too, decorating for this season and thinking, should I go buy more pumpkins? Should I 
buy something to put under the pumpkin farm sign so it looks more full or cuter? Should I go buy a throw blanket to put on the, um, on the bench? And just those couple things alone could be like a hundred dollars. So I'm not going to go do all of that. The porch is beautiful as is. We don't need to over consume to look a certain way or like as a YouTuber, I sometimes have that like, I should like have my porch set up a certain way and it should be all like glamorized and stuff. And I just don't want to be like that. So here's your reminder. You don't know, you don't need to go buy a bunch of stuff for fall, for Christmas, even though it's so tempting when you go to Hobby Lobby, you know? So <laughs> I am going to hang out here and cool off a little bit. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 70 degrees. I cannot wait. I'm actually going to a little outdoor antique market tomorrow that's near me. I've been wanting to go to this for three whole years, literally. I used to, when I was a nurse and worked every other weekend, it always fell on the weekend I worked and I could never get off. And then the last year that it was, Claire was like four days old, so I couldn't go. And this year, are we going? So that'll be a video for you guys coming out this week. I am filming this on Saturday and I'm going to try to get this out to you today. So that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed seeing a little fall decorating and I will see you all in the next one. Did you enjoy the fall decorating on the porch? <laughs> see you guys. Are you from your nap? <gasps> Look at what mommy did to the porch. You gonna see the flower blouse? <gasps> wow, what do you see? What do you see? flowers <laughs> what do you see wow what did mom do and look <gasps> you see the dog yeah there is a dog do you see the pumpkin <gasps> look at this pumpkin <gasps> oh who's that is that dada hi <laughs>